A news item in the Democrat and Chronicle might have slipped your attention last week. It had to do with the reenactment of the funeral of Susan B. Anthony. One hundred years ago, in a blizzard, her funeral was held here in Rochester. Then President of the University of Rochester, Rush Rees, praised Anthony's untiring moral energy. Despite the fact that she pressured him relentlessly to allow women to attend the institution. Two weeks ago at the Hochstein School, a reenactment of Susan B. Anthony's funeral was held. The service was complete with hymns, eulogies, and political commentary. Ellen Wheeler, director of development for the Susan B. Anthony House, said, What a wonderful opportunity to recreate an event and impress upon people the impact she truly had. Susan B. was 86 when she died, a hundred years ago. She didn't live long enough to see the enactment of the 19th Amendment giving women the right to vote. But she did see a lot of changes and was responsible for many of them herself. We are faced with many choices in our lives. Oftentimes we have to decide whether we are going to start down a certain road. Many times a challenge we choose to accept is too large for us. We know we'll probably never finish it. But... Like Susan B. Anthony, we will decide to do it anyway. The effort for a worthy cause is its own reward. Helping others to improve themselves will help us as well, whether we see the finished product of our efforts or not. This is Mr. Nixon with a little something to think about.